Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo and you've tuned in to another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. It's your daily dose of not just the news, but answers that you can use. It comes in three parts. The first part is free for everybody. I'm answering a question as I do every single weekday. Most days I answer a tech-related question, whether it's a gadget, a gizmo, piece of software, something you can do with tech. It's usually tech-related. And then after I answer a question, like today's question, uh, why are hoverboards illegal in some places? I'm going to answer that question. After that, I'm going to be doing a AMA. That's an Ask Me Anything. I know I do AMAs every day on my Twitch profile. I don't know if you follow me on Twitch, but I'm trying to uh, really... Well, I'm not trying to have fun. I am having fun. I'm just trying to stream the fun for everybody on my Twitch profile every day. That AMA is just for the patrons, however... Uh, I'll answer tech questions after this question, and then I'm going to talk about today's tech news. So if you want to hear me talking about the tech news, if you want to, uh, me to answer all the tech questions you could possibly think of, you got to be a patron. Head over to chrisperillo.com for more information on how to become a patron. Ow! Yikes, I seriously just triggered my funny bone. Okay, uh, as I continue to try to get feeling back in my... Uh, Pinky, I've I've lost all all feeling here. Uh, let me go ahead, and I'm going to move this out of the way. This is my Lego Dimensions Doctor Who set with Peter Capaldi right there and K K9. I'm going to set that there. The reason why is because I have right here what they call a hoverboard. Now let me tell you, this is heavy. Uh, it's got some weight to it. You may have seen me ride a hoverboard very briefly in the vlog at Vlogger Fair, and you saw Diana uh, ride the hoverboard and kind of fall on her tuckus when she did that in the vlog. I don't know if you watched that, uh, but it was fun. It, it was fun to watch her uh, do that. Uh, I have the hoverboard, or a hoverboard, right here. And I realized after Diana fell on her bum bum... That for me to stand on this again, I would first need to put on some kind of safety equipment. You know, like a helmet, elbow pads to keep me from bumping my funny bone again, knee pads, nut cup. What? What? I don't know what protective equipment you're supposed to get. Either way, I knew inevitably I was going to uh, fall if I rode this again. And I rode it very, 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 very briefly. Uh, so why are these illegal? Well, here's the thing. You can get your own hoverboard from a variety of places across the internet. Go.tagjag.com slash hoverboard is one place, if you want. But you have to ask yourself, why are hoverboards illegal? I'm going to explain this to you, but if you want to do your own research, I certainly recommend you do your own research. Let me put it to you this way. I am looking to get rid of this. Possibly a giveaway of some kind. I, I'm good with this. And here's why. Because... There effectively have been no standards set forth and a lot of clones created. Begun the clone wars. Uh, this hoverboard, I'm sure, works well. I mean, certainly it, 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 it goes. The challenge is finding a hoverboard that's not going to land you in trouble. Uh, so, why are they illegal? They're dangerous, yes, uh, but more than that, the problem is some of them are exploding. Some of them are catching fire. The problem is the adapter that charges the battery inside of the hoverboard may not be certified, meaning it doesn't know when to stop, and it just keeps charging. And, and, and so imagine just throwing as much electricity as you possibly can into a battery and not stopping. The battery can only do so much, and eventually the battery goes, pow! So today, <laughs> uh, an airline, as a matter of fact, went as far as to ban hoverboards. These apparently are already illegal in some areas of the world that I know of Seattle, or the Seattle area, uh, has not made them illegal. But I'm more than confident that at some point in the very near future, uh, they will likely be illegal. So I'm basically looking to... Uh, to get rid of mine, and, and some of you out there may be interested in the hoverboard that I have to give, uh, because I really am afraid it's going to, you know, pop if I decide to plug it in. So I have not actually plugged it in, I have not actually uh, charged it up, so it works. You saw me ride it, but I don't want it, because I'm afraid it's going to explode. I, I am I am serious. <laughs> If certain, I, I don't think this is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. There have been absolute video posted 
showing you that these things can explode. They can catch fire. I'm going to go ahead and set my iPad Pro, which I don't think is going to explode on that I got the other day. This one comes with another Capaldi, dressed differently, with uh, a very nice Clara Oswald, and not my doctor, but Matt Smith, and a Weeping Angel. The Dalek, I don't think, really counts as a uh, as a minifigure, though. It doesn't really... Just like canine. Canine really doesn't count as... I don't expect this to explode, ever. I don't expect this to explode, ever. As a matter of fact, let me hit play. Everybody, if this explodes, well, you saw it happen live on the internet. Hopefully it does not explode. Ah, uh, so I have hoverboard, but they're illegal because they're dangerous. They can hurt you and others. Fires can happen because there are no standards. And that's the reason why it's been kind of challenging, not just to get a hoverboard, because they're available from a variety of vendors. Like for two months straight after Vlogger Fair, I kept receiving random emails from companies out of China saying, hey, do you want to try our hoverboard? Do you want to try our hoverboard? Do you want to try our hoverboard? And I'm all like, Wow, it's seemingly a lot of hoverboards. I mean, which one's the best one? I don't know. I don't have an answer to the question. I have not made a living from trying different hoverboards. Um, this one was sent to me, but I, I'm good. I don't want to plug it in. I don't want to play with it anymore, and I want to get it completely off the premises. I, Given that they're illegal, given that airlines are now banning them, Given that they're uh, given that they're dangerous in general, I mean, forget the safety issues. I mean, in terms of like your personal safety, like uh, physically hurting yourself. I mean, beyond a fire is what I'm trying to get to. Uh, forget about not feeling like you're ever going to fall. It is a danger potentially, and that's something that, without any kind of regulation in place, uh, could hurt you without knowing. And these things are very popular, like insanely. You know how much this thing could go for? Like three hundred bucks. And I've seen him sell for more than that. 300 is is the lowest I've seen for these hoverboards. Maybe 200. Maybe they're 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 going lower. But since there's such a demand, like these companies keep churning them out. But because there's no safety in in place, there's no tripping mechanism specifically when it comes to charging or uh, you know how much uh, energy that battery is holding that lithium ion battery inside this machine. Uh, it could be a danger. A big danger. That is why they're illegal. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm holding on to something illegal, because that I know of here in Seattle, or in the greater state of Washington, uh, these are not illegal. But they may be where you live. They may be. So before you go out and get one, uh, number one, do your research. Number two, uh, you may just think twice. Do your research. I tell everybody that. I mean, I've got my own perspectives. i got my own beliefs. And I'm not the only one out there. I'm not trying to freak anybody out, but you need to be aware of this. I want to hammer that point home. So, uh, anybody want one of these? Here. I got it. Right right here. Is that, is that great? Uh, Matt, do you want it? Actually, I, I don't think Matt can have it because it's illegal where Matt is. Oh! <sighs> that, my friends, is why they're illegal. No standards and a danger. It at a mall here in Washington, I wouldn't be surprised if pretty soon they are illegal in Washington. It exploded. A guy recorded a video of this thing just popping and exploding and parts were flying everywhere at a mall. I don't want that. I should ask Jerry if he wants it. Like, Jerry, you are into dangerous things. Do you want it? I should ask him. I will, in fact. I'm going to tweet him. I'm going to tweet him. Say, hey, you want my hoverboard, dude? I could text him right now if I... If I was so inclined. Uh, that's the answer to the question. That's why they're illegal. And I'm sure they're, you know, even finer points. But that's the, 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 the high-level overview of why they're illegal. And likely will continue to be illegal. Just do your research, folks. I, I don't think they're as, as hot as I once thought they were. They're pretty neat. It's, it's a pretty cool sensation. But uh, safety is a number one feature in my book, you know, as far as I'm concerned. I, I really don't, uh, don't want to get things that may explode. I mean, granted, yes, phones have exploded in the past, yes, but generally speaking, they don't. It's 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 been a different story when you've got uh, uh, you know, manufacturers assembling these things and not having safety in mind. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Anthony Johns asks me, and he must be uh, watching on li uh, on YouTube live. Uh, he is uh, a patron. He's asking if I have thoughts on iOS 9.2. Yes, I do. And I'm going to share those with you right now, but only 
because you're a patron and that's this part of TLDR. When I talk about doing more tech talk, uh, that's the part just for patrons. You can become a patron, get even more tech talk from me every single weekday. Head over to chrisperillo.com. Uh, if you want to join the chat, you can as well. Uh, that's on my Twitch profile or uh, live.perillo.com. I basically rebooted it. So if you miss the chat room, you don't have to miss it, but you have to subscribe to me on Twitch. I'm not, I, I'm not going to, you know, apologize for that. If you want to join the chat, you can. Everybody's welcome. If you want to become a patron, you can. The two links to remember, chrisperillo.com and live.perillo.com. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com.